Hi guys, it's Desiree. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are going to be starting a new TV show. Now I know I'm a little crazy for wanting to add in a new show into the mix of like four or five of the shows that I'm watching, but I can't help myself. So I am currently pre-filming this in the middle of my hiatus. I've decided I'm just going to, to film as much as I can and just edit whenever I finish all my school stuff. It is currently Thursday, so I have Friday, the weekend, and Monday is my last official day. And then I'm going to take off the rest of that week because that's all Christmas week and I just want to relax and have a break. I'm going to try to edit, and then hopefully the week after that I'll start posting. Um, with that being said, so much has happened, so much is changing. Um... Because I'm going to be watching new shows and I will be done with school, I am not going to, like, say, hey, every single Sunday you're going to definitely get a Criminal Minds and a Trinkets. Even if I'm watching Shameless or Station 19 or Pretty Tiny Thing, I mean, Tiny Pretty Things or, um, like, whatever other show I have on the list. Um, now that I am done with school, I plan on posting whatever reaction I feel like whenever. So, like, if it's... I don't know, if it's Wednesday and I feel like I want to post a Trinkets or a Tiny Pretty Things, then I'm going to post that. And then if it's Sunday, I feel like posting Station 19 and Shameless, I'm going to post that. Or if two weeks go by and I have, and like if if I miss one week and I didn't post the Shameless, I'm going to post it the next week. You know what I'm saying? I'm just going to post, I'm just going to react and post whenever I feel like it. So there will probably be no more set schedule. Yeah, so basically you just kind of keep checking in on this channel because I plan on posting whatever I feel like filming for the week. Um, yeah, so I already was excited to watch this show for many, 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 many reasons. I feel like it's just the stars aligned for me to watch this show. Because, you know how Netflix on YouTube does like the monthly, like this is what's going to come out on Netflix this month. I was watching that because every once in a while I like to watch to see, oh, is something going to come out? And I saw that the Debbie Allen nut, Hot Chocolate Nutcracker documentary was going to come out. And I was like, oh my god, I want to watch that because it's an all black cast, an all black Nutcracker cast. And I don't know shit about the Nutcracker, not a damn thing. But... I was like, well, I'll watch it because, I don't know, maybe this is like what the original Nutcracker looks like. No. So I watched the documentary. If you haven't watched the documentary, go check it out. Gorgeous. When I was watching the documentary, Kylie Jefferson came on. If you guys don't know who Kylie Jefferson is, she is the black lead in this show, Tiny Pretty Things. She's the main ballerina. And I was watching the documentary, didn't even know she was going to be in it. When she came up, I was like, oh, she looks so familiar. And then when her name popped up, I was like, hold on. Pulled up this on Netflix and saw she was the cast list and the lead. So it was really, really cool. I got to see her in that first and kind of got to get like a background of her dancing experience. I know like a lot of shows when they do um, like shows and they're going to have their characters dance, they have the actor take dance lessons so that when they do this role they can actually do it. But Kylie is a dancer, like she's a dancer, she's been dancing for years and she just so happens to also be getting into acting. Hi guys, so it's been a minute since I recorded this reaction and I learned a little bit more about the cast. So basically what it was with this show is Netflix casted dancers instead of actors so so all the cast members are actual dancers in real life like that's their job they all they dance and they just have them taking acting lessons so that they can get the acting part down which in a sense I think is pretty cool I don't know I've been seeing some TikToks where people are like the show isn't that good but I think they have to take into consideration that these people are dancers not actors um Netflix casted them and made them take acting lessons to become an actor and this is their first job ever so I feel like we can't put too much pressure on the show um especially because it's the first season like everybody's first season isn't always the best but I just basically wanted to put that in here also I was I know I haven't even gotten into the show yet I'm sorry also I was on TikTok and yesterday night right before I went to bed and this TikTok came up I'm gonna put it up on the screen I'm not gonna put up the whole thing because it's kind of long 
but I'll give y'all a little snippet. Black women are just so graceful. Watch this, watch this, watch this. Yes, my bad bitch. Such a bad bitch, yes. Move, move, we're not here for you. Yes, colonizer man, follow her. Yes, watch her be graceful. Yes, spin, ooh, beauty, yes. Okay, so after I saw that TikTok, I was first of all cracking up and I was like, all right, I most definitely 1,001% need to watch this. So that's what we're going to do. So we are going to watch season one, episode one, and the title of this episode is Corpse. I'm guessing because in the trailer we saw somebody died. <laughs> So I wanted to just give you guys a quick little update before you guys start this reaction. If you watch any of my other reactions, you're probably going to get the same update. So if you already seen it, you could just skip over it. Um, but I'm going to just let you guys know why I haven't posted in a little bit. I've been just trying to take a break, come down from the craziness of school. And I didn't want to like immediately jump into YouTube. I just wanted a little break. But now that I'm done, I'm going to start getting back into YouTube. I was having a tr I was having a problem with my computer, so I hadn't been able to edit for a really long time. But I finally just got it fixed, like right now. So I am going to start editing. I have so many videos that I pre-filmed over my little um, hiatus, and I need to get them edited, edited and uploaded to you guys so it's going to be a little bit before you guys get any um like any of the shameless reactions or anything like that on the bright side um I got my showtime fixed I was gonna film a little video early in the week to let you guys know that it might be a while before I could watch the the last season of shameless but me and my mom got it work got it fixed yesterday so I can now watch shameless also I now have HBO max Yes, my father has um, HBO Max, and he gave me his login, and I created a profile, so now I can watch um, Euphoria when season two comes out, and you guys will definitely be getting that Euphoria special that I filmed. Um, it'll probably be like one of the last pre-filmed videos you guys will be getting, because I want to get everything else out to you, which is Station 19. I have two Station 19 reactions, um, two Tiny Pretty Thing reactions and two trinkets reactions that I need to get out to you guys before I give you guys that euphoria special so be on the lookout for that but besides that once I'm all caught up on uploading and stuff I'm going to start up the shows obviously and I'm only going to be adding in shameless that is it I've already been having a hard time trying to keep track of the shows that I'm currently watching and making sure that I get a video out for each so it's going to probably be a scramble when I start posting again, but I hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you guys when I start uploading. Also, one little, um, before you guys go, I forgot to almost say, um, two things. One, my Instagram. I feel like I never mentioned this in any of my videos, but I link my Instagram in the description all the time. And I'm going to start using my Instagram as a way to connect with you guys so that I can, um, if I finish a show and I can't decide which show I want to react to next, I can put up a poll, you guys can reply, yada, yada, yada. So that will be happening. And, um, oh, also, for Christmas, I hope you guys had a safe Christmas and you guys are going to have a safe New Year's. Um, but anyways, for Christmas, I got a new pet. His name is Echo. I'm going to put up pictures and videos. He is a leopard gecko and he will be in the back of our videos soon whenever I decide to move him up to my room he's currently over here um sleeping but he will be joining us at some point so I hope you guys um enjoy the video and welcome echo to the family see my thing my whole thing is why the freak would you be dancing on a ledge I mean obviously you don't expect somebody to come up and push you but if you fall, that's kind of like your fault for dancing on the ledge in the rain. That's definitely a, a man, I think. Yeah, that's a man. That's man hands. 
Because no matter how hard you work, how strong you are, or how thin you get, gravity always, always wins. Mm -hmm. Oh! Oh! Oh my god. As troubling as this is the same, at least nobody was under her. Because I was going to say, like, what happens if she lands on somebody? Nevaeh is her name. Okay. Chicago called. Oh, look at her. So beautiful. He said they didn't want me. Something changed their mind. Ooh. Ooh. Listen, I give ballerinas every prop that there is because, honey, being on point, freaking having to pick somebody up. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. I shouldn't be saying he because it could very well be a girl. Oh. I wish I knew. Hey. Good luck tonight. Oh. Why does that actress look familiar? Not familiar. She looks like somebody, like a different actress. You learn two tricks that help you survive when there's trouble in the spotlight. First, you never lose your smile. And second. You make damn sure you distract them with something else to look at. Madame Dubois? It's Cassie Shore. What went down? There was an accident. Girl, I just so Googled it. She's gone, and that's why I'm here? You're here, Nevaeh, because you have something special. Don't lie to her. I'll go out there and make sure they see it. Don't lie to her. Yep, that's basically why they hired you. And reserves. Sorry, that's mine. Rise, test your balance, open to... <laughs> Are we starting early? Are we starting early? Are we starting early? Damn, am I even like 10 minutes in and I'm ready to fight? Ben, demonstrate to the side. Look. Do you see? That's so embarrassing. Oh my god, I know him! I spare you. Uh huh, it is exactly who I'm talking about. His name is Damon J. Gillespie. Wow. That is so funny. And his name is Caleb on the show. And he was in another show called Rise. Now listen, I could go on about Rise for a freaking minute, okay? And I'm going to, I am. I'm going to go on a little tangent. I'm going to speed it up. Anyways, in 2018, I think it was NBC. Anyways, 2018, in 2018, a show called Rise came out. I'm going to put a picture of the poster. Um, they only got one season, never got renewed, which made me so mad and sad because it was it's a show about musical theater, and at that time I was just starting to get into musical theater, and they did Spring Awakening. Because of that show, I found out about Spring Awakening, and I listened to it, and then I found out that there's a Deaf West Spring Awakening, and I watched that, um, and I fell in love. The show was so good. The singing was so good. The concept was so... And we we left on a cliffhanger, and I would have loved for us to get a second season. And we just sadly did not get re renewed. So, I mean, I'm sure the first season is out there somewhere. I would still go check it out, even though there's not a second season. Um, it's still good. It's still good. And he played a leading character, Robbie. And Ali'i, who plays... Who's the voice of Moana played the other main character and this was her first role acting because in Moana obviously she was voice acting but this was her first time like physically acting. Anyways, let's get back in to this. Your second arm is late. I'm trying yeah. Try a higher posse. Her second arm's late where? I like his sweater. Alright, pretty good. Friends. No. No. Watch them be enemies and like at the end of the season watch something happen that they end up becoming friends. Or or watch it be one of those things where they're enemies and after like a couple seasons then they'll end up becoming friends. But like the friends that aren't close but the friends that like... It's like an unspoken friendship. It's like, oh yeah, she's kind of my friend. You know what I'm saying? It's competition so you know, I can't get mad at it. You do what you gotta do if you wanna be on top. Did she just call me a, a rat? Yep. But like everything in ballet, it sounds better in French. A little rat's a dancer who's young, pretty, poor, and hella strong. And this one here wears the shoes of. I like him. Shane. Ali applies. Same story. Cassie was alone. We weren't there. Somebody have had to see something because literally you could see the party was right there. This was the party. 
And this is where Cassie sure was. Silence. Style. That's true. I'm more than tits and teeth. I watch you too, you know? Yo, Bella, safe. I'm sorry, I'm gonna say something a little controversial, but America, Americans have no right to say anything about foreigners. If anything, foreigners are some of the most hardworking people, way more hardworking than we are, okay? I'm sure, I don't know where his accent's from, I wanna say France, but I'm sure they busted his balls real hard up in there before he even came to America. Oh, 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 she's back. I'm late to the party, and I get that I might ruin your little plan to be the next queen bee around here, but I got up in here fair and square, and you best believe I'm coming for you. Oh. And they never let you grow up. Oh. So if you want to live a little... At least he's respectful about it. Because I think I probably, if I'm tired, hell, I'm walking, oh. Oh wow, oh wow, we're getting wow, okay. I'm done playing this game. Hey, I owe you one. Oh yeah, you do. You probably owe him a plenty. Ooh already somebody's cheating. Ignore me all you like. The world will still know what you did. Oh, Oh. <gasps> oh, no. Well, anyways, is he the killer? Uh, he. You know what? Every single guy that they shown on here is gonna be on my list of it could be the killer, including Shane. And I already love Shane. The so, school will be creating a new ballet in Cassie's honor by renowned choreographer Ramon Costa. Oh, she got him. You gotta be kidding. <laughs> world. So she basically just told him. You have the job without even asking. Or, like, not even, like... She basically told him, like, she basically told everybody, like, oh, he has the job. So there's basically, like, no way he can back out. Kind of throwing in the deep end. You've got a decent action open hips. And around here, that'll get you far. Is this the teacher? See? The way he rolls? That, watch that be his husband. Watch that be his husband. Watch that be his husband. Baby girl? This is why we're gonna talk crap. See, if we're gonna talk crap, we gotta do it in our heads. We gotta keep it in our heads. Because everybody's trying to come for us, okay? I love how I'm talking like I'm there. I know I'm not, but we are a unit. We gotta stick together. Anyways, we gotta keep that in our heads. Even write it down if you want to. Don't write it down. Don't write it down. Because then somebody will find it and it'll be a whole thing. Um, so just keep it in. Keep it in your head don't don't ever don't trust nobody you just showed up here two minutes ago don't trust nobody i get it you want a doctor a lawyer a senator mom i just want to dance so dance in your bedroom in the shower go prance at your prom like i bet she's one of those the girls here just in big time i mean i've seen some rough stuff back home but nothing compared to this shit yes but I think Nevaeh would like to emphasize I love her. how the ASB is about the fundamentals. fundamentals. Yes. You had a script. I also had a life. Mm. <laughs> Thank you so much. It's so good to see you. Thank you, Zendera. No, it's not going to be... I know, I, I'm sorry. It's not going to be what she wants. You know how there's that saying that sometimes you just shouldn't meet your idols because... If you meet them, then they could turn out to be the person that, like, you didn't want them to be. And I have a feeling that's exactly what's going to happen right now. She's going to meet this girl and she, who she idolized her whole dance career. And she's going to find out that she's a cold, mean-hearted bitch. And she's going to be sad. And as yeah, she should. Okay, I'll be right back. I need to go to something to eat because I'm getting a huge headache. Okay, guys, I'm back. So, ooh, my nail's breaking. I... Went to go get a snack, ended up making myself dinner, and then sitting on my couch watching some Superstore. So now I'm going to get back into the reaction. But you're even stupider. You can't see that they're using you. You'd just rather stand to your star fucking my sister. Sister? Nevaeh, if you're here, you're good. Okay, maybe I was wrong. Just... Maybe I was wrong. Maybe the sister isn't a bitch. I'm sorry. I take that back. But Beth sure is. And she would sure get that whooped if we weren't fighting for our lives out here. 
in um, the ballet competition world. She would have got popped a long time ago, period. When Yo, that little done, Buddha, I keep thinking somebody's dance. standing there. To do the one thing in my crazy ass life that I can hold on to, and they don't care about that. So what? So you need I to do it, girl. Well, how the fuck can Luya? What dancer wants to? Uh, it's not how we do. I see who these ballet companies hire. And most of the time, it's not us. How fuck me? Shane, I heard what you were saying about not fitting the mold. It's a good thing. And it always has been. So if you ever want proof. I'm not crying on the first episode. What do you think this is? I'm just happy that even though everybody's being a... She has two... Uh, well, she has Shane and Nabil. I feel like... I feel like Nabil is going to be like... I'm sorry, I'm playing with the... Okay. I feel like Nabil is going to be... Um, the guy that pushes... Like the friend that pushes her. He's going to push all her buttons. But it's just somehow going to work. After all, you were, you were Cassie's roommate, weren't you? Yeah. It's be hard for you lying in your bed. There's got to be something with her and Cassie. or, or they, they must be friends, dated, um, freaking long-lost siblings or something. Because she's going real hard for this. And normally they would just keep it pushing. But I, I lost someone not that long ago and I can't shake it I love how we're being open with our bodies don't sexualize anything nipples are nipples who cares oh who is it I see him in the room hold on hold on hold on hold on I had a theory that when he walked in the when he walked into the room and said I'm not doing I'm not hiding this anymore for you I had a theory. There was like some tension in that look. There was some tension in that look. So is he... Is he messing with his roommate? I support. Well, I don't support what you're sleeping with him and not telling the girl that you're sleeping with him also. Like you gotta... Somebody gotta... Okay, well he knows. Shane knows obviously that he's sleeping with the girl also. But, well we don't even know if it's him. But if it's him, he should still tell the girl out of decency. Are we not gonna see who it is? Oh, we're... Oh, is that? Yeah, is that his roommate? Wait, zoom in on the face. I can't tell. Go there. Except I kind of do. We're just helping each other out here. I don't know if this means anything. But are you telling me that? Are you telling me that? <laughs> are you telling me that they're messing with each other because they're horny? Okay, well, not Shane. Shane's obviously gay, but I'm talking about the roommate. Because he's horny and he needs something to get him off. So he's messing with his roommate. When he was just having sex with the girl before. I said that. I'm not going to go there. Period. You see how she wraps her hair at night? Representation, ho. We wear bonnets. Like, people really be out here thinking, like, like girls go to bed looking all cute and crap. Like with throwing their hair up in a bun and going to bed. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. I wrap my hair and wear a bonnet. I look like this when I go to bed. <laughs> I look like this. Imagine waking up thinking your girl's going to look all cute. You turn around and see this. Yeah. But I look like that so my hair could look like this. So... What I do is I think of my hips turning on an axis. So when you go to start your turn, you stay in the plie longer. That way you're halfway into your turn for your own. So it's a cheat. Call it a dance hack. If it gets you the end result, it's fair game for me. Wait, what? <gasps> he has an eating disorder? You know what? We need to start normalizing men having eating disorders. Because we really want to talk about women having eating disorders. Men could have them too. Caleb, Nevea with Oren. June, you'll dance with Nabil. And Bet, you will be with Shay. Wait, I'm with Nabil? 
Oh, because wait, Nabil's the best, right? Oh, period. Poo, she's making her way up. I hope she didn't kill Cassie, though, because we got to reevaluate our situation. What is she? Enough. I didn't correct Shane. I corrected you. Again, show me the pirouette. Yes, Shane. And you try to crap on that dancing? Try again. Beth got a mouth on her, but I will still try to support her. Come on, girl. We cannot be looking like a fool in front of this man. You know, she got a mouth on her. I don't like the way she talks to N, but I will still support her. So we need to... Come on, do better, girl. Do better, girl. Ooh. I don't want you to get called out. I hate getting called out, and I feel bad for you. Hands, bed, find your center, close your ribs, and up, up, Oh, 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 oh. Lordy, fuck. Are you okay? Wait, is that her mom? No, that's not her mom, because her mom's a brunette. But why did the, why did the instructor try to go over to her and he pulled her back? Oop. Probably reading too much into it. Is that her if daughter? You don't properly prepare. I know her mom was that brunette lady, but could there just so happen be a reason that the dance company lady is her actually her mother? I don't know. We'll keep it in the back of the head. Has anyone been paying attention? We have. Oh. Well, all right then. Let's Show do it. <laughs> Are you kidding me? They're so good together. Are they gonna better each other? See, what I was gonna say was, it's funny how, you see where she was dancing, everybody looked at each other? It's funny how they took out, they took out Carrie because, or Cassie. They took out Cassie because she was their competition. Everybody was scared of her because she was at the top. But what you didn't know was you just let in somebody who, what, can do everything Cassie did, but probably even fucking better. Even though we didn't really get a chance to see Cassie dance, so I can't say that. But you know what I'm saying? Like, they, they tried to get rid of her thinking, like, that's going to give them the room to shine. But you just let somebody else in that could be even ten times better than Cassie and make it ten times harder for you to get your attention. So, really, you messed up on You did that on your, to yourselves. And the way that her and... I need to get these people's names down. Let me pull up the cast list. This guy, this dancer, the guy she's dancing with, he... I can't lie, yo. That was smooth. They did good together. They did good together. And I have a feeling, I don't know why, but like towards the end, I have a feeling like they're just going to better that. Like they're going to better each other. Like she's the outsider. So she's just going to keep doing her thing. And he has his own issues. And I feel like because they're partners, and like he already said, partners are set in stone. There's no changing them. I feel like they're going to better each other. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like because they're going to be forced to work together, they're going to be forced to get to know each other. They're going to end up being friends, and they're going to better each other. Tomorrow we begin auditions. The rep for this term is no longer the Sleeping Beauty. Tomorrow I work on a new ballet. No Sleeping Beauty? That little bitch. We'll create a ballet of passion. <laughs> You're welcome. Monique Dubois, you have your ballet. Auditions tomorrow. Go. You know what? You know what? I... I give him props for that because she basically just told him he has this job in front of everybody without even consulting with him. So you know what? If I'm being forced to do this job, I get to pick what I want the show to be, period. And Beth, I'm supporting you, still supporting you in the back of my head, but we better not cut up again. You're just mad that your dancing didn't influence him to change the play and start a new one. <laughs> when people see my reaction, they're gonna be like, "Is she okay?" If you see or hear anything, I won't be. I won't be here much longer. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You mean to tell me that sis is so mad that they didn't that they're not doing Sleeping Beauty, so she's not gonna get the lead because now he's doing this whole new play she's not even gonna give it a try she's not even gonna try to stick it out so she's gonna snitch on everybody and leave i mean i don't care go ahead do what you gotta do have a bad bitch exit but don't give up girl if you don't put on your tights and leotard and whatever if you throw your hair up in a bun and get into it get into it i really love this officer you know, you know who she reminds me of 
because I keep looking at her and I keep wanting to be like, oh, but it's not. I'm going to tell you right now. I wonder if they're like, if they could be related or they just look so much alike. Barrett Dose, who plays, um, who does she play? She plays freaking Hughes. Yeah, she plays Victoria on Station 19. They look like they could be siblings. If I can get a picture of both of them, I'll put them up on each side of me. They look like siblings, period. Okay, I need to hurry up because my memory, my SD card's going to fill up. Don't tell me she tried to save her. Oh, wait, that's not her mom. What the fuck? <gasps> wait, don't tell me that's... Okay, wait, something, wait, 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 don't tell me that that was her wife that she lost. Stop, no, that's so sad. It's the freaking picture of the teacher and, and freaking N has the other half of that picture because she found it. In the dresser. That man is a cheater. It's better we don't mix dance in our relationship. <laughs> because you had one good part of done, some easy choreography. It wasn't easy for you. If the T rat. <laughs> when you the make T -rat. Family, you Great, fly you take alone. a picture with it. It can help if there are others on stage with you. Oh, she's going home. Oh my god. The oh, she's in a coma? You know what, I bet you she pushed her off because she was mad that she wasn't invited to the party. Because that's her competition. But why she looks so manly in the video? When I edit this back, I'm going to have to like really like look at her body and be like, dude, was that really you? Risk too much, yep. fly too high, and you could end up like me. In this oh, bed. she's narrating. I like that. Life. But I swear to God, if at the end of this series, Sis magically wakes up and magically is able to put on her dance shoes and, and come to the final performance, because there's going to be a final performance, and she takes it from my girl, we will freaking riot, Cassie. I don't know you. I don't know you like that. I don't know you like that. So until I know you, I'm fighting for my girl. What all of us are fighting not to become. When you okay, die. so there's something up with her mom situation. You so Your turn to fly. Guess. Oh, is it for don't girl? Girl. That's not good. That's not good. Okay, guys. So that was the first episode. I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued. I, I think I'm definitely going to watch another episode. Okay, so I it's going to take me a minute to get everybody's names down. But I think it's going to be so good. I love how at the end we know that Cassie didn't actually die. She's just in a coma. And we basically know that June did it. Because she kept saying, like, I'm sorry. She was, like, freaking out. You know, she's feeling some type of way. And, um, 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 the French guy. Is he French? He might be French. The one with the L. Nabil. Nabil? Nabil? I didn't say his name. I think him and Navea. I think him and Navea would be really, really good together. I really like that name, Navea. I'm gonna add that to my list of future baby men names. But anyways, I feel like him and Nevea would be very good friends because like she said, um, they're kind of in the same situation. They're both outcasts. Um, what else you say? They're both outcasts. They're both minorities. And us minorities need to stick together, basically. Um, I'm eek. I love Shane. I love Shane and I love um, Shane's roommate. I, it makes me sad that he, you could 100% see that Shane has feelings for that boy. You could 100% see Shane has feelings for that boy. And that boy is like, trying to be like, oh, I'm just doing this because I'm horny. No, you're not, honey. No, you're not. There's some attraction here. You just don't want to, you don't want to think about it. Anyways, and if you really are just doing it because you're horny, that's terrible. 
that is terrible. Just whack off with your hand like everybody does. That's really terrible if you're really doing that because you're horny. There's no way. I like Beth. I know I was I know I was talking mad crap. But you know, I don't mean girls when I first I can't help it. Like when I first meet a mean girl in a TV series, I just got to talk my crap. By like the second third episode, I'm like whatever, it's just what she does. I want I do want Beth to succeed, but I want her to succeed fair and equally. And I want her to not Obviously, she's going to put pressure on herself because, like she said, her sister was principal dancer last year. So, that's a lot to live up to. But I'm hoping they just let her be her own person. Come on. And there's definitely got to be something going on with the freaking the freaking director of that place and um, Beth. Because you could see, like, you could literally see the concern in her face when Beth fell. Like... I'm sure if it was any other student, she would have just been like, whatever. But, like, that kind of concern looks like a, like the concern of a mother. Ooh. 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 Somebody had to say it. Anyways. No, I'm not going to go that hard for that. That's just going to be the back of my head. It's going to be the back of my head that I think that could possibly be her mother somehow, some way. But... I'm really excited to see the next episode. I'm really excited to see more dancing. We didn't really get that much dancing in this episode. Understandable. We have to meet all the characters. We need to know all the juicy gossip, all the storylines, yada, 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 yada. But I would love to see some more dancing in the next episode, hopefully. So I'm going to go, and I'm going to go watch the second episode. But I hope you guys like this reaction, and I hope you guys come back for more. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye! Thank you.